okay, just uh, running up this little unit we've installed. Um, it's underneath a roof. Running up this little unit we've installed, um, some of the eaves and a little roof above a walkway. Um, it's on 134A, uh, so it's like a cheese maturing room. Running about 14.8k soup heat on the suction, which is a good ballpark figure. Um, I don't think the expansion valve is too far off at that. Full sight glass. Um, we've got a pressure switch on the wall here. I've put a couple of little loops in to take the vibration out. And uh, clip, <coughs> excuse me, clip them onto the wall with some cable tie clips. Um, so crank AC here we've put on there as an extra. Um, contact to an overload, so if the overload trip shuts the unit off. Uh, we've got this set high side to trip about 55 degrees C, condensing temp. Um, which hopefully it shouldn't get that hot up here. Um, if you set them too high, they can sort of kill themselves with a dirty condenser running at sort of 60 odd for ages before anyone notices. Um, LP switch, we've got that set to cutting around 15, cut out around 5 I think it is. Um, that scale's not reading very accurately and the high side one doesn't, um, it's, a, it's about 2 or 3 bar, about 40 or 50 psi out from what it says on there to where it actually trips. That's the outside, uh, outside work. And we made this little frame up out of some strut, picked it up over there, run it underneath, and then come through, and then we've got some strut running. So it's it's inside. It's it's sat on top of the roof of the, the cauldron inside pokes out the wall, drops down and then comes underneath and that's screwed to the roof of the cauldron inside so it can't go anywhere. And put a little bit of timber up here, put these on. That's about it really. Had that little heater running in here for two or three hours. Um, trying to get some warmth in here, and it's took the room from about 9 degrees up to 13 and we've pretty much cooled it back down to 9 again. Um, but, uh, the room normally would run about 14 degrees, so uh, it's so cold here, um, there's no heat to uh, make it any work to do. So we've had that on for like say 2 or 3 hours, which I'm surprised it didn't warm it up more than that really. some chiller. I've done my drain down like this so they can put a bucket under it. It depends what the cheese is like, whether they just let the water go on the floor to keep the humidity higher. That's a dual discharge cooler. So, Kelvian, which used to be Searle. I think it's made in Poland. This one's got vinyl, vinyl coating on the fins, uh, so a little bit more corrosion proof. Uh, air temp sensor up here. Drain fitting on these, I think, is inch and a quarter. It's gone up from being inch to 
so it's a pain in the ass to get a fit in that size. Um, pipe rod has just come up through the roof, so that one needs trimming off. Um, where it goes over the roof and then round the corner and then out to the units that sat up here outside. Controls on these Danfoss ones, it's uh, made by Pego, I think. Or Danfoss, my own Pego. I'm going to sit on 5.3. Uh, anyway, we've just got to copy the parameters out of another room into that one. And that'd be it.